You may wonder how commercial fishing can haul in millions of salmon each year without permanently hurting future runs. The devastating potential of this problem was seen decades ago and preventative measures were taken. Alaska salmon hatcheries are one part of the solution. Napa Auto Parts is proud to present Napa's Inside Alaska. Prince William Sound Aquaculture was founded by fishermen in the Sound to take existing runs and maximize them to the most potential for the water source uh, to get the most amount of fish out of them. An AFK hatchery is a pink salmon hatchery. July to the end of July is when our pink salmon start to return to the hatchery. At that time, what we're doing is a cost recovery on those fish. So we have a set quota, and once we meet that quota, Fish and Game will open up the fishing area, um, and then the fishermen are able to take as many fish as they can to make their livelihood for the fall. Salmon hatcheries are not to be confused with salmon farming, where the salmon are grown to adulthood and captivity. Hatcheries, on the other hand, fertilize the eggs and maximize the survival rate of the salmon fry until they would naturally enter salt water. At that point, they are released into the wild and live the natural salmon cycle. Once they're released, they'll spend basically about a year and a half out in the ocean and then they return back to the hatchery. So it's about two years total time. And then we start the cycle all over again. We incubate 162 million eggs at the beginning of the, the cycle. And when the fish return to the hatchery, we expect about six to seven million fish to return. The worldwide demands on these salmon runs would have wiped them out years ago. Thankfully, for fish and fishermen, many were thinking ahead.